bought a balloon ride for for me for our wedding anniversary, the first year, and it was up in uh, north of uh, Vernon, BC. It was in like Armstrong, and we had a flight there. It was okay, not exactly particularly good with heights. In fact, I'm terrified of heights. I, I liked it. I don't think we went that high maybe a thousand feet or something but there's something in the standing inside the basket and the way the balloon operates there's not a lot of movement and not a, there's no jerky motions and even going up and down uh, when you drop at six seven hundred feet a minute you don't notice it unless you look right at the ground and we're close then you see it coming up fairly fast but if you're looking out and we're dropping or going up you don't you don't notice it you don't feel it in your stomach the movement up and down so it's, a, it's very smooth, smoother than an elevator. I'm getting better with heights, but uh, probably would not. You know, if I go out on a, a balcony on a 10-story building, I'm very nervous, extremely nervous. So I tend not to go out on balconies. I used to have to ride an elevator to the 25th floor where I worked in when I was in Vancouver and working. I didn't like the ride up. We looked at cost of balloons, and uh, we have a few friends from New Hampshire. Bill Whalen builds them here in, in uh, at, he lives in Van Cleek Hill now. And so they kind of said, oh, it's not that hard to build a balloon. I started in 204, I finished it in 205. It took me about, as, as my wife would say, nine months, and she sent out a birth announcement, but that's about, it's about 240 hours to cut and sew and put it all together. When you have kids in, the one thing you're worried about, okay, you know, it's kind of a boring flight for them. You know, if they're 10, 12 years old, not exciting. But if you drag through the trees, play in the creek, have a, you know, a, a, what we call a sporty landing where you drag for 100 feet or something, kids love it. This is, this is great. Adults, maybe not so much. There's always people bring out friends or stuff like that, that haven't flown before. It's great because they, they just add that excitement back into it. This is you know great. They've they've uh, they've enjoyed the flight and, and they're they're quite happy with what they're what they're doing and and uh, you know the flight's been great and the smile on their face and they've enjoyed it. Then that makes it all worthwhile too. It's it's that's sort of our model. Everybody deserves a chance to fly. So. We kind of go with that.